So today we are going to be going over the exact cold email template that has booked over 1000 meetings in 2023. So in the past six months for our clients, for different agencies. And just for reference, I'm going to go over a few example results that this has generated. So for example, Moreno booked four calls for a client in one day. Daniel booked 45 calls for a branding client in 25 days. If you have ever done cold email legion for a branding agency, you know that that stuff isn't easy, but he did it. 45 calls in 25 days. Imagine if you're getting paid 300, 400 bucks for a call. Kai booked 10 meetings in the first three days for a new client. Again, Daniel over 100 calls booked last month. Wyatt, five calls booked for his clients in a day. Like again, imagine you're getting paid three, four, 500 bucks a call. Like five calls a day is pretty sick. Sondre, eight calls booked only today, lol. 16 calls total over three days. Forecasting easy 10K first month of running this. Theodore, absolutely ripping it like a lot of people who are doing cold email for e-commerce they're like ah oh, e-commerce is saturated you can't make it work but bro is ripping 10 percent reply rates which is sick it works extremely well for booking calls and it's also not just for booking calls but also for making money because this is also the exact same template that lets guys like jack close forty thousand dollars in new revenue for his agency in three days through cold email imagine forty thousand dollars in three days so here's three days in a row 21k 11k and 8k and all also the exact same template that guys like Wyatt used to make 20 to $30,000 in profit from booking one high quality call through cold email and not even attending the meeting himself. Wyatt sent a message, just got this message while on the toilet. Happy Thursday. And here he just says pretty much his client made a $1 million deal from a call that he booked. He has like two and a half percent rev share on it. So that's like a 25K commission. And that's not the only one that they have done. They get those monthly multiple ones. So this stuff is crazy. So if you are running a B2B lead transition agency and you're looking to get pour me a double Don J pronto, hold the rocks results for your clients. Or if you're running a B2B service based business and you're struggling with getting traction through cold email and booking calls with the great send invoice clients. We all know who those clients are. The really high quality border clients who just send you a Slack message. Sounds good. Send invoice. Boom. Invoice paid. Boom. If you're looking to get those clients, I'm going to show you how to combat that. And I'll show you the exact mistake 98% of the people in the cold email game are making. So the million dollar mistake that everyone is making. Most people are trying to book calls for the clients or for their own offer make the mistake of thinking that cold email is about the cold emails itself. And they look at the successful cold email gurus and entrepreneurs and they think like, wow, that dude must be so good at writing cold emails. Like his copywriting must be on point. But what they don't know is that the scripts and campaigns they are using are probably exactly the same in terms of copywriting, structure, CTAs, pronunciation, etc. Usually like the structure and the copywriting, everything is like exactly the same. And yeah, this hasn't always been the case. Good cold email copywriting used to be a valuable skill some years ago, but that was back in the golden times when good information was gatekeeped behind huge paywalls and tight knit circles. There wasn't information out there on how to run good cold email campaigns. There wasn't dumbasses like me making these videos because everyone just wanted to make money themselves. Now the information can be found with an eight second Google search and half a brain. So what that means right now in the year 2023, and of course in the future, it isn't the big difference maker. The actual way how you write the cold emails isn't how you are better than someone else. So you need to understand that email is just a communication channel. It is the rawest form of communication in the digital world. Just plain text, no fancy graphics or edits, just text. And in my opinion, that's extremely beautiful. Of course, having a better call to action or structuring an email differently can have an impact, but the impact is gonna be small. Five 5%, 10% or maybe a 15% impact on the performance of the campaign. Like, yeah, you can get it from 10 calls a month to 12 calls a month, maybe if you like structure everything like completely differently. But for most guys, if you're booking zero calls a month or like two calls a month, a 15% increase is still zero. So we want to hit those big levers, the levers that take our campaigns from zero calls a month to 100 calls a month. And that's where the money is actually made. And changing subject lines isn't gonna do that. Changing the call to action, changing the structure of your email, it won't really take you from zero to 100 calls a month. So if it's not the copy, 
what is it? And this might sound extremely simple, but it's actually the content of the email. It is the offer that you are selling. It is the people you are selling it to. And it is the way you are explaining the offer. You won't succeed selling an SEO offer to a roofing company that has already worked with five SEO agencies and still hasn't gotten results. You need to sell a better SEO mechanism, for example, sell a video SEO or AI SEO or fucking military grade alien invasion pandemic proof SEO. Whatever it is, can't be something they have already tried and failed at. Like this is a huge thing that I see. People are sending paid ads to e-commerce stores. Like, yeah, bro. You don't think that the e-commerce store has fucking tried out Facebook ads previously. It needs to be better, logically better. And this doesn't even mean that you need to come up with some crazy service. It just means that you need to position it in the right way. And that's what I'm going to be covering in a second. You need to be selling something that people actually want and you need to be selling it in a way that they understand what it is. And that is why this exact cold email template has booked over a thousand calls this year for our clients. I'm actually probably way more, probably two, three thousand, but I would just wanted to make like a really, really, really low guess to make sure that it's right. So this is a template and this is literally the thing that we use. And I know it might sound extremely simple, but this is what we run. So first, high first name, then a location based personalization. So you don't even need to use like personalized lines. You target like only companies in Toronto and then you write like something about Toronto, you know, super simple. I wanted to reach out since we have been helping niche. We have been helping startup companies in location in Toronto to end result to generate an extra hundred thousand dollars in time frame in eight months without common pain point without having to hire a single sdr then you drop your guarantee we do this fully based on performance and you only pay after you have signed the first client and you have gotten a return on your investment do you mind if i send a bit more information about this signature ps a case study and the case study is optional if you have the case study that's dope but you don't need to have it and this is the exact cold email template that we fucking use and it is that simple i know mine blown and the only way that this template works is if you understand the market you are selling to know what they want and struggle with and can communicate it in a way that they understand it so let's quickly go over a few steps on how to actually make it happen because you need to understand some things to make the cold email template actually print so step one is understand market sophistication and awareness so Fairly simple, read through breakthrough advertising by Eugene M. Swarsh. If you don't do this, nothing is going to make sense or work, or it might, but it's just gonna take way longer. So in his book, he breaks down how markets mature, how to communicate offers to them, and what kind of awareness levels there are in different markets. When you understand this, you'll immediately improve your results by a lot. And I have also talked about market sophistication and awareness levels in my own YouTube channel, but everyone still should fucking read this book. It is that good. Then we go into step two, which is understand and your prospect first it was reading and now we have to do market research wow this is boring am i right yeah you're thinking ah oh, what like why can't we just make money and send cold emails i know it is boring but that is what makes the money you need to understand what the prospects you are targeting wants, needs, desires, have failed at and are afraid of and are doing right now. You need to understand those things. You need to understand the sophistication level of the prospects. You need to understand how aware they are of their situation. You need to speak the same language. Otherwise, you can have the sickest offer ever, but it won't resonate since they won't understand it. Imagine if I just send a construction company CEO a message like explaining about GPT-4 data set management. They're going to be like, what? What the fuck when like let's say that that data set ai gpt4 like could like two extra company i could just yo john we can double your company with this xyz mechanism how do you do market research efficiently there's good ways to do market research there's bad ways to do market research most people when they do market research they just go into chat gpt and they're like oh what do construction company owners struggle with you're gonna get the exact same information that everyone else has you're not gonna make a difference so what you do is you talk with people in your market you join communities in your market read books about your market you watch videos and podcasts about your market you look at successful and unsuccessful companies in your market you follow personal brands in your market you buy courses about your market you really get trenched into it you imagine that you are the offer owner like if you're running a lead transition agency and your client is a paid ad company doing paid ads for construction companies you need to imagine that you are a construction company owner who needs paid ads you need to literally imagine yourself there and do the exact activities that they would take and you don't just start passively consuming content thinking you'll somehow magically learn everything that you need 
You need to do it with intention. You need to ask questions like, okay, what are the fears these people have on a personal level? Then go fucking figure it out. And then step three, the last step, test your insights in the market. So now we have gained some insights. It is time to test if they resonate. So take out a piece of paper. First list out all end results that your offer provides that the market might be desiring. So for example, if you're selling a lead generation agency service and you're doing lead gen, B2B lead gen, what end results? does it provide? It provides more revenue, more cash, better bottom line, more calls, more leads, more demos, more proposals, more discoveries. Like it provides a lot. There's a lot of really different end benefits. And also list out all pain points or offer solves that the market is struggling with. So okay, is the market struggling with hiring SDRs? Is the market struggling with having high quality calls from outbound? And also list all the things they have failed at previously when trying to solve a problem and reasons why a thing is better and is going to work. So for example, okay, what have they tried to do to solve their lead generation problem? They have done paid ads, they have done content, they have done cold calling, they have done XYZ, they have hired this and they have bought this service and they have used this program. And then you just need to figure out, okay, what makes your offer better? And if it's not better, then it shouldn't be in the marketplace. And then you take those pain points, benefits and solutions, and you create a cold email campaigns using each one of them. And you just use the template that I provided earlier. You just plug in pieces like, yo, we help you solve this pain. We get you this result. We get you this result. We get you this result. You just test out because you never can be 100% sure. You just have a thesis. You have learned the information from the market, but you still need to figure out what is the most resonating one. And before you press launch, make sure that your offer is on the right sophistication level and your message is hitting the right awareness level. And then when you run the campaign, you're going to get direct data from the market on what resonates better compared to other variations. Maybe talking about higher MRR, outperforms lower churn as the end result. Like for example, your offer might solve a churn problem, which leads to lower churn and a higher MRR, a bunch of other things, higher LTV, etc, etc. But they might prefer one or over the another. They might prefer the statement that it might just sound sexier or better for them, like higher MRR, they're like, oh yeah, that's what I want. And they're like, yo, do you want a lower churn? And they're like, nah, I don't care about churn. When the actual mechanism to get it is the exact same. It is an endless loop. You're always learning, iterating, learning, iterating, learning, iterating its positive feedback loop system and the positive feedback loop system is the biggest thing that we have started using like during the past 12 months so the person who has the most insights about the market is always going to win so as you can see to ensure success with cold email you have the first understand market sophistication and awareness levels to ensure you are communicating to your market the right way and presenting the right offers second thing understand your prospects so you're able to position your offer in a way that it plays into their desires, fears, failures, and everything else that affects their buying decision. And third, but not the last thing, test your insights in the market to see if your insights are right and learn more to improve campaign performance over time. Positive feedback loop system, that's what you need. By the way, if you're looking to build a $10,000 a month B2B lead generation agency in 92 days, go check out agentvelocity.io and book a call with me or someone from my team and we'll show you exactly how to go through this process that I just went through on this video to ensure that you succeed. And we'll also do a bunch of other stuff. We'll create your offer with you, your pick your niche with you, write your sales letter with you, write your cold email campaigns, blah, 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 blah. All that cool stuff. We'll pretty much just make sure that you win and make a lot of money. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really liked it, drop a like and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.